Okay, so I'm in Empyrean, and they've just released the 4.0 patch, or 4.0 update, <coughs> and it also has had a patch already. Uh, but there still are some pretty big issues. <laughs> uh, one thing you'll see, uh, it looks like it's gamma has really screwed up, but apparently it's not the gamma. Their lighting system is totally wonky right now because <clears throat> they changed it from, excuse me, <clears throat> basically from some kind of a oh, vector, some weird system to a linear system in Unity engine which really messed with their lighting and as you can see like my veggies down here look like plastic balls from the playground or something they <laughs> just everything looks like crap um and the lights are like totally blown out this is nighttime and the lighting is totally overblown they do know it's an issue um, the other issue that I had was with my hovercraft. <clears throat> Apparently, uh, you need to go into your tech tree. Let me make sure I'm on here. Hovercraft. Uh, they've made these new hover engines. They're little round things. They've got a T11. It's a one by one square, and the uh, T21 ones are two by two. I don't know if they're too tall or not. They might be not sure uh anyway uh it's kind of crappy the way they work they describe them as working like wheels or something which they do oh crap i just forgot to turn on my jetpack so i've installed a couple there's one here and i've got one on either side so i actually have three on here i think You go in and see. Anyway, when I was out playing around with this, I got stuck in the water because as you're coming down off of a hill, you no longer are kept at a uniform height anymore. It actually it angles you down. So like if I was coming fast off of this piece of land, I would like it would get ditched into the water. Let me take a look. Oh no, so I've only got one on there in the middle. <clears throat> I was going to put a couple here on either side. Let's see, have I built them yet? No. So let me go build those and I'll give it another test. Anyway, really, they handle like shit now. They really, I mean, if you thought hovercraft were bad before, no reason to build them, it's multiplied ten times now. They're terrible now. The handling totally sucks. They were at least a little bit better than the motorcycles because the handling on them was much better than the motorcycle had. Now they're just awful. <laughs> uh, so I will probably never, you know, unless they fix this, uh, the handling on them and keeping them at a semi uniform height, especially when you're like going in or over water, actually just freaking anything. Uh, I don't think I'll ever b bother to build another hovercraft. Um, the other thing, so before when you'd hit the escape button and these buttons would come up here across the top, it would pause your game. It no longer does that anymore. You can see I can't move the camera or anything, but this timer is still going and my need for food keeps growing and so you can no longer do that if you want to take a bathroom break or something you actually need to exit out of the game uh, otherwise you'll come back to your dead corpse and if you take too long getting back you're gonna come back to no suitcase like I did the other day Oh, and stuff's randomly yes I'm really not happy with what they did to the hovercraft I mean it tipped on its own here nobody in it nothing and it just like listed off to its side for no apparent reason. Whee, and there it goes the other way. So 
Okay, hopefully that will help balance it out. Probably won't. Um, so let's go give this a test. Come on. Let me in my stuff. Okay, let's see. So I'll just like go off the edge here. This is not where I went in the drink. I went out here to where my. Oh, see how it's like slides to the side? It's like super sloppy driving. It used to be like turn on a dime. So it does probably actually drive more like a real life hovercraft now. But oh my gosh, it's sloppy. And so I came up here to get my ore. And then <clears throat> this hill was a little bit too, even though I'm at max height. So I came down here. Oh, I actually stayed above the water, barely. You do have to hit your O key on them now, because uh, they will list and go sideways instead of staying in a nice vertical uh, position like they used to. Let's see if I can actually get up. So let's see how sloppy that is. Oh my lord. I don't know if I'll be able to do it from here. Let's see. Yeah, okay, sorta. <laughs> uh, scroll out here so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Okay. Well, that seemed to help adding the. So I had to have four hover engines. You may be. So I put a, one on the front, one on the back, and one on each side. That's probably what I would recommend you do if you build a hovercraft from now on. Uh, I don't remember if I gave a tour of my. This is my CV. Of course, it's not built yet. Um, not really sure. I've got all the amenities that I really need in it. I got the fridge, the food processor, I have a little bit of cargo here, my ammo, that's my warp drive back there. The generator is back here in the back. And I set it vertical so it goes up through the top of the what would be the roof, I guess. Uh, I'm probably going to move the that part that's the original block so this is my the top of my generators right here in front of me um, this is my fuel tank somebody said that they use your fuel even if you're turned off uh, if you have engines on it I don't have any engines on this CV yet so I don't have to worry about that but apparently if I do put engines on it even though everything is turned off, so see if I turn this on, it goes my gravity generator. Uh, we'll start using fuel now, of course. I have two RCSs. This is a T2 RCS and a T1 underneath it. Um, I got two hangar doors. That's my little uh, small vessel. I do have a, this is a T2 fuel tank. That's why it's got so much space. Uh, that's the hangar door for there. The next thing, I'm not really sure how I'm going to want this to look. It's very square. <laughs> Maybe I'll just turn it into a little Borg ship or something, a cube. That might work. Uh, what else? Coming, Looking at it from the back, can kind of see what I was I'm just angling the edges or beveling the edges a little bit and so these are actually beveled edges then it gets flat to here and this one in the middle is a little bit taller because that's where the uh, generator is and then I'm gonna flatten them out again like so and I can't remember how big that is to be honest I think it's 
up one with a 45 degree angle edge and then these are the like 30 degree or 60 or whatever the the shallower angle blocks are where it takes two blocks to go up one and so that's how that's going to go all the rest of the way along this back edge uh, not really sure what else I'm going to do there I may put windows back here I just I don't know I'm not feeling not feeling it <laughs> uh, I'm kind of when I saw how big these bay doors were I was just like holy crap they're big um, so right now my biggest issues are the the lighting is kind of sucky uh, I didn't really like the way the hovercraft worked although that may be okay God, I need to eat I really don't like that the escape key doesn't pause the game anymore that that just irks me <laughs> uh, I mean you could technically just go out and do the exit and then just reload the game it's not that big a deal but it's more keystrokes or before it was just a single keystroke make sure this guy's back up power okay Oops. uh... trying to think if I've run into anything else mainly it's the lighting that irks me it's not terrible but it's just off-putting uh, supposedly they're working on it and gonna make it so that you, these lights don't blow out uh, lift pizzas suggested that you could just um, remove the lights and put in new ones but I tried that with this one and it still seems just as blown out as the other one was so I used to have like two or three lights in here and I've gotten rid of them because they're just it's way too much and in the daytime uh, I didn't notice it last night when I was first playing but as I was approaching this hill earlier today with my hovercraft stuck in the water <laughs> um, let me actually go out there and I'll whoops come on yeah undock please okay let's just see how awful this is going to be Ooh, see how it tips they really are tippy now but the mountaintops where they get light oh my goodness seriously oops so if you hold the O key down it will keep you upright it's just kind of a pain really not a fan of the way the way the hovercrafts work now but anyway up there where it was light or white oh my gosh they were like totally blown out you could not see any of the contours of the mountain it just looked like a big white uh, fluorescent tube was on fire up there or something same with those mountains over there all along the crest it looked like somebody just had installed fluorescent lighting all along the top of the mountains okay so my extra hover engines did seem to make this fly better they're still somewhat sloppy though and I'm contemplating starting a whole new uh, game I think I'm gonna wait for a couple more patches um, before I do that and then I will probably save out this unfinished CV as a blueprint maybe I don't know I'm really not sold on the big fat square I'm th what I'm thinking now is that I should probably woo, uh, stretch these things out more back to front to make it more of a longer ship instead of this big square Lego block. <laughs> uh, I'm not a real fan of 
boxy ships. Um, the ship that I had actually done in my creative mode is the one I really like the most. Um, in fact, let me see if I've got that in here. I don't remember if I do. Exit this. Um, I think it's on my laptop. No, I'm pretty sure it's on this machine. I think it might be out in space though. I just don't remember. And I had kind of used a similar system on it it seems like holy cow it's slow there we go yeah there it is right there that ship I really I kinda like and still so you can see the center box here that's kinda the same idea on my other one um, so yeah, it took out some of my uh, Bot blocks though like on the glass and it looks like there's some blocks missing there behind that turret I don't even know if this will fly under 4.0 oh come on let's find out Ooh, that is some purple ass light okay Oh, hey, it does still fly. Cool. No, I don't really want to go out there. Uh, hmm. I don't remember where my takeoff platform was. Oh, it's over here. <coughs> so, and I had kind of started to build another ship over here. Ooh, go down there, mama. And that one was going to be my framework. Uh, because for some reason on this particular ship, even though I love it, um, it wouldn't let me build it from the blueprint that I had, even though I had put in tons of stuff. It was wanting all kinds of rare stuff, probably for these guns. I'm not really sure. Anyway, so this is kind of where I started the framework that I'm currently using on my other ship. Uh, where I put the warp coil in, I mostly put everything else in this little three cubes worth of space. And this one actually does fly too. I've got enough thrusters and stuff on it to actually make it fly. And it's basic enough uh, materials that you can build it uh, with all the stuff on that you just get on uh, Equa. I think that's going to be it for this video. I really wish that uh, this gate key worked and that they'd fix their lighting and. I kind of wish the hovercrafts would have been left alone. They also fixed, unfortunately, <laughs> that if you have your ship tipped, uh, they treat it as a bug that you would hold still. And that was just on the very first version of 4.0, so that you no longer drifted if your ship tilted. Uh, but they quote unquote fixed that so that you start drifting again. And again, that's really annoying if you're pointing down trying to shoot at drones or anything that's off the a level.
plane. Uh, that was one of my main beefs on some of these small vessels is you had to put a, quite a few, at least two or three engines facing forwards so that you could fly in reverse pointing down at a drone uh, to keep them out of range and to keep you from f slamming into the ground. Okay, I think that's it. I'll talk to you later. Have a good weekend.